Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, by Rick Rorden. Hi, I'm Percy Jackson. I'm 12 years old, and I just got expelled from my last school. Hi, I'm Percy's mom. Let's move on to Grover. Hi, I'm Grover, and I'm Percy Sater. And this is the Minotaur. We are the characters in the scene. Now, let's move on to the narrator. Hi, I'm the narrator here. Now, the car Percy was in was just damaged because of the Minotaur. Now they were outside of the car, and Percy knows where to go to get to Half-Blood Camp. He didn't want to go, but he knew he had to do it. The Minotaur charges at Grover and injures him. But Percy's mom distracts the Minotaur. Then the Minotaur charged up Percy's mom and grabbed her, and she disappeared into thick, cold dust. Percy was furious and very sad. Percy jumped sideways, then slashed. Then Percy knew exactly what he needed to do. He sat on top of the Minotaur's back, and he killed it. He put the sword into his back, and the Minotaur died, just the way his mother did. And now, Percy and Grover could finally get to Half-Blood Camp, because there was no Minotaur to bother them anymore. Just to let you know, the... Uh, the book I read was five stars. So why was scene so important? Well, there were so many reasons. Number one, Percy's mom isn't in the story anymore. Number two, Percy has a reason to do many future things. For example, he now has a reason to go to the underworld. Not for one reason, but for two reasons. Not for two reasons, but for three reasons. To be honest, there are so many scenes in the story that lead up to future things. But I chose this one because, number one, it was my favorite part in the book. And number two, it was one of the most important scenes in the entire book. And number three, it's definitely a scene that makes you want to read the book. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed